Hi, my name is Gregor Walls. I'm the Director of Athletic Communications at the University of Puget Sound. As a member of the COSIDA New Media Committee, I'm putting together a quick video just to discuss our media day. Hopefully this video resonates with a lot of you D3 and small school SIDs and maybe even inspires future projects for you. Our Media Day is an annual project that started in May of 2018 and it allows us to produce pictures such as this. I promise you, AJ Johnson is not nearly as mean as he looks. Before I get into our setup for Media Day, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, struggles of um, how we got here. When I started at Puget Sound a little over five years ago, my number one goal was I want our social media to look like it's Division One. Of course, we're at Division 3 and we have a lot of the typical Division 3 challenges. I would meet up with team captains from various teams and we would go outside with their game jersey on and I would just take pictures of them outside. Awful idea. Terrible. Wish I never did it. It led to a lot of editing because I was cutting out the background of trees and cars and I did not plan ahead well. Not only was it a lot of editing, but just the lighting was terrible. With the harsh sun, you also get harsh shadows. Um, it was not at all what I wanted the finished product to look like. So then the following year, I would do the same thing in meeting up with team captains. However, we would take pictures inside in a conference room. Um, better results, but still not great. Uh, a lot of the pictures looked flat and just not professional. And there was still um, quite a bit of editing to do on the back end of taking those pictures. Now, after a couple of years of taking pictures of student athletes in a conference room with just the overhead lights, I finally got the idea of consulting our university photographer. This is something I should have done from the very start, and it's sort of embarrassing that I did not do that from the start. So I met with our university photographer, told him about the pictures I've been taking in the conference room. He said that he has a friend who's trying to get rid of his lighting system. I didn't ask any questions. I said, trying to get rid of it? Yes, we'll take it. Turns out the lighting system is like from the 70s. It looks really old, kind of loud, but it works. And that's all that matters is it works. The next thing I need is a backdrop. Now I know I want our backdrop to be white because one of our nicknames in addition to the loggers, we are the maroon and white. So student athletes are wearing their maroon jerseys. They're gonna be in a white background. For $50, I went out and bought white, seamless paper backdrop. No matter what you do, please do not use a green backdrop. That green color is gonna reflect onto the subject when you're taking pictures. Do not use green. Do not use green. Next thing I did is I went to university facilities to get some floorboard. This helps sort of preserve the life of the paper because I want the student athletes to be wearing their cleats and I also don't want them to immediately poke holes through the paper. Of course over time they're going to poke holes in the paper even with the boards underneath but the boards give a little bit more life to the paper and also even the rips are pretty easy to edit in Photoshop. When we schedule our media day we do it during reading period of the spring semester. That way student athletes are not in class. They also don't have competition. They should be studying, but they can take a little break for media day. We pick a single day in reading period. And in that single day, we open up media day for a 12 hour span, usually from eight in the morning to eight at night. It's a long day. We invite all of our returning varsity student athletes to come to media day. We have 23 varsity teams. The day gets to be pretty tedious in repeating the same instructions. Look left, look right, up, down, turn. But a key thing is to try to have high energy. Definitely, definitely bring music to media day. And also let the student athletes sort of take over during media day. Let them suggest different poses and let them get behind the camera. One of the proudest moments, probably the proudest moment I've ever had at Puget Sound was when a student athlete was taking pictures of his teammates during media day. That sort of involvement from our student athletes on both sides was just one of the greatest moments I've had at Puget Sound. When it's all said and done, these pictures are great to use for gifts or to promote games on social media or to announce awards. They're also great when you're short on action photos and don't really want to use a headshot. You can just plug in one of these uh, media day photos and it looks great. There's definitely a handful of Division Three schools that have media days. 
Um, if you're looking for finished products, I highly encourage you to, to browse through several Instagram pages. Bates, Piedmont, and Bethel have great content from their media days. Also George Fox. I don't want to give George Fox too much credit because they're in our conference, but the George Fox Instagram is, is pretty solid. All right, well, that's it from me. Hopefully something in this video resonated with you, hopefully inspired you to take on a new project or maybe make an adjustment to a current project. Good luck out there.